Hey boys, it's a spy! Hello guys, Halock here. Um, we're gonna be starting our um, Unity tutorial Unity tutorial series. Um, I'm trying to redo the old one because the old one was really, honestly, pretty horrible. Um, if you if you go back and see it, I'll put the link in the description. Um, there's a number of things wrong. First of all, my screen recorder was horrible. My quality was bad. My instruction was bad. My voice was too high. Um, it was just very unprofessional. So um, we're gonna be starting again. Um, this is just uh, this video is just going to be on getting started with a basic interface. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, when you open Unity, you should get something sort of like this. Um, it might say open project or something, but uh, we're just going to uh, create a new project if you're not already there. Project directory, we're going to click uh, desktop just for the sake of it. Tutorial, save that, sorry. Um, and for the purpose of this, we can always change this later. We're going to go to import character controller. We're gonna go to import scripts, and we're gonna. Um, this is pretty much it for right now. Create new project, and uh, it should import some stuff. Uh, you could take this time to subscribe. Um, here we are. Okay. Um, let me just reset my um, thing. Okay, here we are. Full screen, gonna work. Yep, here we go. Okay, um, this is what you're gonna see when you start it up. There might be a um, something else here, but you should have created a new project. So this is what you should be getting. Um, I'm just gonna go through the basics of this uh, setup here. So first thing you're gonna notice is this. This is our um, this is like our scene editor. You can't really see anything now, but um, this is where all the the magic happens. This is where you edit your your scene. Uh, to make it whatever you want and um, we can actually click over here we can go down we can go up to game which will be uh, our actual product and if we wanted to play that game we would hit play and uh, nothing will happen because we haven't started a game yet but supposing you click clip play you can um, edit your game right there which is something that's really great about unity um, some other programs programs whoops uh, have a hard time with this where you have to build it every time you want to play it like uh, Unity developers, not Unity, um, Unreal Development Kit. You have to build the lighting and stuff every time you want to play it. If you make any kind of changes, uh, Unity, you don't have to do that. Everything's live. So that's our game. Um, you'll notice up here, these are the, the play, pause, and uh, I don't know what that is. I don't use it, but um, play, plays the game, pause, pauses the game. So you can go back to your editor and make changes while the game's live. And uh, you just click play again to pause it. Um, over here is the inspector. This is where we can edit uh, specific settings in our like in our uh, object we have selected. So we select the main camera, and there's a number of things here we can change that we'll go into later in greater detail. But in the in the meantime, you can see that uh, what this basically does is it lets us change basically uh, all the settings for that specific object while not affecting any other objects. Um, this is our camera view. Uh, this only shows up when you select the camera. Down here we have hierarchy and project. Hierarchy is all the objects you have in your current scene right now, which would be our main character. And project is all the asset files that you have for that that you're going to be using or that you're going to um, just store there. So uh, what you should have right now is standard assets. So there's going to be character controller and scripts in here. Um, we're just going to leave those alone for right now. We're going to get into coding and other stuff later. Um, there are some other stuff over here. You should see uh, this hand button. Um, first off, let me just add an object so that we can get a little bit of perspective here. Um, just double click to focus on it. Um, click pan here. This lets you pan around in a um, perspective view, sort of like you're moving a camera, you know, without uh, rotating it. Um, over here is where we can uh, move our selected object. So we can move it up and down along the X, Y, and Z axis. Um, over here is a rotate where we can rotate along all axes, axes, I believe it's called, of our object. Um, you're going to be using these two a lot. Pan, maybe not so much. Um, let's see, this is our, uh, I just call it the Make Bigger tool, um, resize tool. You can basically just make an object bigger, smaller, stretch it out in different ways, shapes, and forms. And uh, to rotate around your scene, 
you'll notice if you click, it's just going to drag, which doesn't, which will, you know, just select objects in the um, scene. You're going to click Alt and then drag, and you'll rotate around like the current perspective. So you can scroll to zoom out and uh, double click on an object to focus on it. Uh, so that's basically the the basic 3D editor. Over here, you can go to the different perspectives, uh, X, Y, Z perspective, all that good stuff. Um, let's see what else up here. Um, I'm in full screen mode right now, but you're gonna have Unity, which is just like you know your basic stuff, quit uh, services, about Unity preferences, file. Um, you know, new scene. A scene is like a level, basically. It's not a project. It's just a level. Like you save multiple scenes into a into like a whole project. Uh, open scene just lets you open a scene that's in your assets. Save scene, uh, yeah, these are pretty self-explanatory. New project. Um, what you just started was a new project. Uh, you'll notice that when you start a new project, anything else you had will be gone and out of your projects folder, but it will still be there for you to open. Uh, you can go to open project, and uh, whoops, and you can just change all of the select any of these other. Uh, projects that you want. I don't really want that right now, so I'm just going to go back here. And um, up here we'll have edit, which I don't usually use this for too much. Um, copy, paste, duplicate. Uh, you'll find it's easier to just use the, the keyboard commands for these rather than going here. Uh, project settings, render settings, go into all that later. Uh, assets, um, basically these are like the assets you either have in your project folder or objects in the other parts of your um, your um, computer. Uh, create, you're going to be using uh, somewhat a lot, although you normally you don't really go do it from here. Create, you can do folder JavaScript, and all of these will show up over here in your projects folder. Um, game object, this is the one you're probably going to be using the most. You can create an empty, which will create an object that is, as it says, empty. Uh, you can use these for numerous things. We'll probably end up using some later in our game. Uh, very basic objects that don't actually have any kind of material in them. A uh, game object, then you can go to create other, and uh, there's particle systems which are like sparkles and stuff, a camera which is pretty self-explanatory, GUI text, graphical user interface text, it's just basic text that shows up on your screen, uh, GUI texture, um, it's the same thing but it's like an image, 3D text, um, it's like, uh, we'll get into that later, um, directional light, it's a light that shines in only one direction uh, forever. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, where was I? Um, directional light is a light that shines in all directions forever. Point light, uh, you're going to be using this one a lot. It creates a central point, sort of like a sun, and it radiates light from all sides. Spotlight is a spotlight. Uh, cube is what you just saw there right there. Um, sphere is a circle, sphere thing, capsule, cylinder plane. Cloth. Cloth is interesting. Uh, they just added cloth. We'll probably use that maybe later. Audio reverb zone, ragdoll tree. We'll not probably use those at all. Component. Um, you're going to use this one a bit. Component mesh. Um, oops, I haven't used that too much. Uh, component particles. Um, that's if you have particles in your scene physics. Basically what you do with all of these is you apply them to a game object you have selected. So we could go to cube, come on, uh, component, particles, and add like a trail renderer, and play it. Split this up a little bit if we can, which looks like we can't, so we're just going to get out of that. Um, come on, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Had a little bit of a problem. Um, I'm running full, uh, my uh, I'm running this program in full screen, which is not normally possible, but um, it, it can cause some problems sometimes. So that that shouldn't happen for you. But basically, uh, you can just do a whole bunch of really awesome stuff. So uh, what we're gonna do um, now is we're gonna go through the basics of creating a scene. So you know, let me just check my running time. Okay, we're at 10 minutes right now, so we'll go another 2 minutes. Um, we're going to go to Game Objects, which is what I mentioned earlier, Create Other Plane, which is a flat plane. Uh, I'm just going to reset position. We'll do that. I'll explain that later. Um, go up to it. This is going to be our floor for right now. We're going to go to Game Object, Create Other uh, 
point light and you should see this come up. Um, this is going to be our new light. Um, just going to move it up and that looks about right. So uh, that's a basic scene. We're going to go to uh, game object, create other. We're going to create a cube for our scene. Okay, it's right there. You can hold command to move it up uh, in a grid lock. Windows, I believe it's control to do that. Uh, not exactly sure. I don't really use Unity on Windows. It kind of fails. Um, that looks about right. Um, but now we need a player for our scene. So uh, we're just going to use the built-in player, which is what I usually use. So we're just going to look up uh, first, not visitor, first. Darn it. Okay, first person controller. Um, when you find a thing with a blue cube next to it, it's a prefab, which is an object. Just like uh, one over here, except that you can... Uh, add it numerous times and you can save it basically so we're going to drag that into our scene uh, reset position and we're going to move them over a bit okay and you'll notice now um, I might have to add a new tab if we hit play uh, we can now move around we have a, a character that will uh, look around with the mouse and W A S D uh, will move him in different directions. Space will jump. Basically, a basic uh, computer first-person controller, uh, first-person keyboard commands. Uh, so yeah, that's our basic scene. So we're gonna uh, hit play again. Uh, switch over to our scene, and we're gonna go to File Save or Command S, uh, and we're gonna save this as example not ex blah, 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 blah. example and make sure you can't save scenes anywhere else but in your assets file so uh, you're just gonna click save without changing anything over here and uh, you should notice that see here you now have a, a unity thing called example so if we go ahead and create a new scene and we click on example um, it loads what we had previously so uh, that's what this File um, open scene. We'll show you example.unity, which is what we're at right now. So um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Uh, part two coming soon. Look forward to that, where we're gonna actually start uh, the basics of a game. So uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you. Please uh, subscribe. Like, please subscribe. Um, not gonna beg, but like, uh, comment, and subscribe and stuff. Things, and I'll see you later.